Hello YouTubers, I'm back again and I just wanted to give you an update and give you some news. So after all this chaos with the Demon 170 going around and all the stupid markups, so my local dealership, as I, I, I said in my previous video, was trying to get an allocation for me and that did not work out. The one thing that I haven't mentioned yet is I put money down on one and I didn't want to say anything because with all these markups and all the stupid things that are going on and horror stories that you hear about, yeah, that you put money down and then they send it back and they are not going to sell it to you. So I didn't want to jump the gun and make a video and announce that I am getting a 2023 Dodge Demon 170. Uh, I already have my confirmation email from Dodge. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show some pictures of that. Uh, I had to fill out my waiver form and sign off on that. So I'm sure the thing in your minds is going to be, all right, so ADM, what was it? How stupid was it? So it's a lot, but what I will say is that Basically, I'll say that I'm buying the car for MSRP, but the parachute's going to cost me 45 grand. So it's a lot of money. Uh, here's how I justified it. So my 2018 Demon, which I gave 105,000 for, which was very blessed to be able to find it and and, and get it for that. So. What I kept thinking in my head was, I got 45 extra value in that car. So, worst case scenario, if I can't afford these cars, I mean, I am, I'm not gonna go broke or lose a house or lose my family over the cost of these cars. So, what I would do if it came to that, I would sell them. Uh, now I feel like value is in those cars together with matching VIN numbers. So I don't know, and I would really love to know, how many original Demon owners are going to get Demon 170s and get matching VINs. Uh, that is what excites me more than anything else. That is super cool. But, uh, you know... At the end of the day, whether I can afford it or not, I don't know, but I am going to make some sacrifices. I'm going to sell some equipment. I am going to make sure I can get the car, and then down the road, time will tell. So probably another question that you probably would ask is, are you just going to put it in the garage and put it away? No. There's no way I can have this car and not at least enjoy it some. My Demon, it's got 2,000 miles on it. I do get it out some, not very often. I have gotten it out and I, I've street raced with it on multiple occasions, but I just don't get it out just to, for fun driving, just to, just to rag up miles on it. Uh, I haven't had it to the track, would like to take it to the track, but if I do get this Demon 170, it will go to the track and I wanna feel it I want to push it and I want to see if that 891 is actually attainable. Do I think I can? No, because when they certified that time and they did it with the, the 2018 Demon, I mean, everything was perfect. Conditions were perfect and they pulled it off. I still to this day don't know if anybody in the 2018 Demon actually attained that 965 in the quarter mile. So I'd be really curious to see, can anybody attain 891 in the quarter mile with this Demon 170? I will give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's probably, you know, there's no telling when these cars are going to get built, how long it'll take. I mean, by the time I even get mine, the track could be closed. So I don't know. Right now, all I'm focusing on is what do I have to do to be able to afford this car to get it for right now? 
that's what's important right now. So I just wanted you all to know I am getting one. Uh, I got Destroyer Gray with the satin black hood, roof, and trunk. And I got the carbon fiber wheels. So I heard that a lot of guys that went in the order of them got put on a waiting list for the carbon fiber wheels because I guess they just didn't plan on making enough. I don't know. So when I got my confirmation email, I didn't got or didn't have a waiting list or anything that said anything on that. When I got my confirmation email, it had listed those wheels on there. So I'm assuming I'm not on a waiting list that hopefully maybe that means mine will get built sooner rather than later. I don't know. I do know Tim Kaniskas released some stats and said of the first 1,000 allocations that were ordered said 63% of them were ordered at MSRP or below. Now, do we know that's the case? No, we don't. There's no way. I mean, that these things are just going for crazy money and to be believe that 630 out of the first 1,000 cars were sold at MSRP, you know, you believe that one and, you know, there's a lot of things I could sell you. So, I don't think that's happening. Uh, I think there's loopholes. Uh, as you can see, how I'm doing mine. But, what do you do? You know, the, the crazy markups. And, at this point, I'm just happy to have the chance and the ability to get one. So... Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you think I'm crazy for how I'm justifying it or if, if it's just plain stupid. I don't know. Right now, uh, I feel okay about it. And the, the one of the most important things is my wife is behind me. And she even told me when I was, I had an opportunity to buy one for 50 over, and I told them, I go, I'll only do 25 over. And I hung up the phone. And that was with the dealer I got my original demon from. And she said, why wouldn't you do 50 over? Well, then it's like, light bulb. So, I called him back immediately. And we talked about it. So, they gave me a day to decide. And the next day, I mean, probably 30 minutes away from calling them because they were in California and a couple hours behind. So I had to wait till lunchtime. I get a phone call and the guy's like, hey, you were on the list. I called so many and, and somebody called me back. I can't remember if I was second on the list or fourth on the list. And he goes, we've got to you, we're 50 over. Everybody else, you know, said no, they can't do it. Are you interested? I said, I just wish, you know, they would do something for the demon owners, the original demon owners. And I just wish there would be a dealership out there would, you know, honor that. I mean, it's, it's a long shot, but oh well. So he's like, listen... We'd rather sell, sell to a demon owner. He goes, I got five grand to play with. If you can do 45 over, let's do it. So, I just said, yeah. I just, it's a lot closer than California. I'm saving five grand. So, I just, I just did it. I just, it's only money. Can't take it with you. If I can't afford the cars, I can sell them. You know, I'm not that partial to them. There's more important things in life. But as of right now, I am getting a Demon 170. And I'm, I just, I can't wait. I'm, I am so excited. And I want to run this thing down the track. I want to run it hard. Will I put a ton of miles on it? Probably not. But I will run it. It will not go in a garage and just get put under a car cover. So there you have it. Uh, I appreciate you guys, you know, watching, listen again. All I want to do is just, yeah, the, hey, these are my experiences from one car guy to another. 
I'm very blessed and just to even have the opportunity and I know there's so many people out there that that doesn't have that opportunity and and it sucks it really does and I feel for you guys so I just I'm gonna make this video and just share my experience with you guys and hopefully it's a fun one so I will catch you some other time on another video and maybe it might be for an update on the ordering process maybe I get a VIN or a build day just just whatever it may be so I will keep making videos as long as people will watch them and enjoy it and have fun with it so we'll catch you later so here is the acknowledgement form that they sent out that you have to initial and go through and sign and just thought I'd put it here so you guys can read it and just see what what it is and what's going on but it's pretty much the same thing as we did with the original demon and just wanted to also show you here is my confirmation email from Dodge showing that it is going to get built and the options and and where it's at and like I said it's uh some people got put on a waiting list for those wheels I don't feel like I did because it's all there so it looks like I'll get them and and hopefully get my car earlier uh also mentioned about you know getting my 2018 demon out and racing a little bit I thought I'd throw this clip in here sorry I, I didn't have audio for it uh not sure why but uh and the video was actually not taken by me but I just wanted to add it in there just kind of to show you and give you an idea that I don't necessarily just park in the garage and as a collector although I do want to collect it I will get out and drive it and this is just a night that we did some street racing and we get together sometimes it's a lot of fun i don't like to race for money uh it just changes it it just makes it no fun so when when i go out it's it's just to have a good time hang out with guys race some cars and have some fun uh it, the notes on the bottom of the screen there uh where we were at there's one way in one way out and a lot of people just start calling the crowds get too big and what happens is we have to wait on cars coming and going to park and to get out of our way so it can be annoying sometimes but you know you you take what you can get you're there to race you race as much as you can and you deal with the the things that come your way so again i just wanted to kind of show you a little bit about what i do and and the fun i have and so there you have it also before i go i'd just like to share with you this is my 2019 Red Eye. This is the one that I put the miles on and take the shows and go out and race a little bit and have fun. I went with Corsa exhaust and Cook's two inch headers. I already have the 315s on for shoes, just like the Demon 170. And I'm telling you right now, from experience, they are amazing tires. And this is what makes this car run. That is the 4.5 liter Whipple. This car is run on E85 and has a cam. And it's all about the tuning for this car. Don't know an exact dyno result, but we have reached 1,050 to the tires. And that was on a hot day, so realistically we could gain some there on a cool day for good boost weather. So there you have it. There's, there's my fun car and a couple brats. So... Catch you guys later.